I'm Lena. Um, I'm gonna. I, I don't know if this is actually going to be like any anything, but I'm. I decided to to stream for the Trevor Project this um, this month because in much this month this month, and so yeah. That is what I'm doing. But yes, I'm gonna be streaming Everland today again. So, I'm just gonna get right into it. Wait, that one. Here we go. Uh, what were we doing again? Alright, we were gonna... How did I talk to people? There we go. <laughs> Don't, not sword. BB. Right, we were gonna... Uh, level up his magic or something. Ah, what a fine young man you are! And what can I do for you, darling? Please don't, don't call me darling. Do you know what you're asking me, my little peach cobbler? Yeah, it's weird. First, I can only proceed with the awakening if you have bringing me enough mana. Mana's the life energy, extremely rare stuff. And even then, if the broken individual isn't ready to accept the awakening, they'll die. Mm. Oh, wonderful! You dug up some mana. Let's start off with this beefy one. He'll make an ideal test subject. Oh my god, test subject? No. Not test subject, friend. Upgrading powers. Ibos's power has reached level 2. You can focus longer to unleash a more powerful attack. Nice. Nice. What can I do for you, darling? Buy a potion. Hey, you needed green goop. And red goop. But I don't... Do, do, I, do I have any red goop? I don't think so. Uh, nope. I'm not breathing that. I remember that was creepy. Rather creepy. Oh, it's a. You can only carry a single potion of the same type, my fallen angel. Okay, so I can't do a green one either then. Yeah. Okay, nothing. Goodbye. Public sound, but I shall say goodbye for tomorrow. Yes, I, for some weird reason, decided. Oh, it's here. This moment. Uh, him. Here we go. <laughs> okay, I'm getting the getting the hang of the, the different. Mm, can I can I get something over here? Money. I have so much money. What am I supposed to use it for? Um... The controls again! Oh my god, you're so cute! Still tilted, but so cute! Hi! Is there anything on this side? Some heart and some money. Oh, mushy! <laughs> that, that was a lot. Nothing I can do here? Okay. Hello? Can I talk to you guys? Hi there. It's not often you see somebody on this side of the bridge. We used to call this Mayen's Bridge. Mayen? My isn't that kind of how you spell Cayenne? Mayen? But a hundred years ago, a boulder fell and blocked it. No one's ever been able to remove it. Then again, since the war ended, people don't really come out to Demonia anymore. Anyway, I doubt any human will ever break that boulder. How come you didn't ask the demon? For sure. Our boss is tough enough to smash that boulder. I told you though, he's stubborn as a freaking goat. He's definitely not a goat though, because I'm guessing this is the the the, the merman? The finfolk? 
He barely ever leaves that haunted floor. You have to force him to move his knee over here with that. It's just body off. But deep down, he's a really nice guy. No, okay. I need to focus more on unbreakable and everything. One more time, I forgot. One, two, go. Freedom. Oh, did I get all of them? That was lucky. Ooh. I think I managed. The music is really nice. Am I supposed to go here? Or is this just a... Ooh. I think I managed to avoid it. Is there anything else here? Nope. And that's where I was before. Oh my god, it's clipping. Okay, there we go. So where are we going now? Clank! Look! Look at that! Yeah, that does not look very nice. What happened here? Where's my village? My parents? My friends! Everything's gone! It all fell to the depths. I had my suspicions, but now I'm sure of it. This isn't our time period. We have to find out what happened. Let's try Genoa. Somebody there should be able to tell us. Looks like they've been dumping stuff. Be real. What's this? Serena Harbor. Harbor? Harbor? What is this? Pyramid of the Prophets. Just follow what they're saying. Genoa. Genoa. Sorry. Not Genoa. Genova. Hello. You are now entering the great trade capital, Genova. Be sure not to make any trouble, and we'll ensure your safety. Traders and dis disciples. Traders and disciples. All day long, all I see are traders and disciples. It's crazy. Has everyone really become a trader or a disciple? <laughs> Hello. You just got to Genoa, right? It's obvious from your tan. You spent too much time outdoors. Too much? In Genoa, my delicate skin is protected from the sun's harmful rays by the vapors of the smug. That's not a good thing. Smoke is not a good thing. Can I go in here? I can. What can I interact with? Maybe just a person. I can't seem to find my key to the library. But I'm certain I left it here. I simply must find it to continue my study of the scientific explanation for the predominance of traders in the Econ econo religious system within a post disaster society. <laughs> Yikes, and where has Mimi gone? Still hanging around with her friends, I suppose. But as long as she stays out of trouble and lets me work. Now, where is that blasted key? Can I find the key? Hello, who are you? Let me through. I'm training. I'll need to build up strength if I want to climb Mount Alpha. That's the only way to become a disciple. Okay. This door is closed. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. 
Oh, that's him again. Hello. You there. It's your lucky day. You just won this game of a game gem of a home. Claiming it is so simple, a child could do it. A child with 10,000k, that is. My, m my modest purchase fee. So what do you say? Ah, listen. I like the cut of your jib, so I'm gonna go out of my way to offer you a reduced price. 5,000k is my final offer. So what do you say? No! I don't have 5k. You drive a hard bargain. Okay, 500g in cash of fault. <laughs> Sure. Aha! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I like the food. I mean, to sell you this charming abode. I, I but I, I need to know what's inside now. Enjoy your new home. You got key to your house. Might be a good idea to invest in keychain, huh? So we now have a house. Hey, it's cute. Can I do anything here though? Like, nah. Hello. What about you? Have you noticed those pipes inside of Genova? I do. They pump the smog that provides us with energy. What? So it's pumping into the city, not out of it? Okay. What is smog, smog composed of? I don't know, why? Do you think it could be dangerous? I mean... Yeah! Hello! Ha ha ha, no doubt about it. It's nice to eat something other than ca camp food. Luckily I've moved up the ranks, otherwise I'd still be digging with the other idiots. Gotta say, once you're, you're selected to join the elite, you've got it easy. I drink all those morons. I drink to all those morons who believe the great in the great destroyer. Without their donations, we could never afford this kind of joint. Are you telling me this is now a fancy place? His face is all red, and he's barely speaking. I hope he didn't eat anything too spicy. It makes him seem so delicate. It's adorable. It has been months since I started saving up to ask Laura out to this restaurant. I so want to tell her how I feel, but I could just can't. Ah, they're on a date. So he's not... It's not spicy food, he's just... Nervous. I like how everything's natural. Did you know that all the food is guaranteed smug to eat? That means he's healthy, and what's more important in life than being healthy? Man, the food here is amazing. Me and the wife come here all the time. Hello. Welcome to McDonald's. <laughs> We've been serving healthy gourmet food for over a hundred years. My great great my great grandfather founded this restaurant, which fast became the best place to dine in all of Genova. He's a real legend in our family. Lovely. I think. No, I gotta go back. This is the person I talked to before, right? Yeah. I haven't talked to you though, right? Sure, the great disaster flattened the whole part of the continent. That's also where we get smoke from. As they say, all's well that ends well, right? <laughs> Well, um, except for all the victims of the Great Disaster, of course. But then again, but then apparently they didn't suffer at all. Boom! Gone in an instant. I mean, I don't know much about it. Yeah, I wasn't born yet. Hehe. Hehehe. He he. Also check these. Hello. Mr. Fogwell is a real nice trader. Maybe too nice, in fact. Whenever he says hello, I immediately want to buy something from him. Either way, he's a very powerful trader. Are you smug things? Step right up. Um, ours, ours are the very best out there. Guaranteed to make minimal smug emissions. 
and at an unbeatable price, too. Buy a smug furnace and you'll save on wood. It's very good for the forest, did you know that? And if you purchase one right now, you'll pay 1.0.1% less in tax. So what do you say? Nah. What are you, cells? Pitch proof? If I was like you, my business would go down the drain. I just kind of want to talk to you. I don't did want to buy something. Oops, buy, I mean, guard, Mr. Fog. Oh, no. He's only one of the richest citizens on the whole continent. You're... You're not a very good spy, my sir. Oh my god, it's a... Uh, um... The, the flowers from, from Mario. The missus is so demanding. I'm more frightened of her than of the Great Destroyer. I'm not even sure he actually exists. The missus, on the other hand, I couldn't be more sure. I've gone and blasphemed without meaning to. Please don't turn me into the disciples. I beg you. For goodness sake, Marian. I told you a thousand times not to wrinkle the linens. You poor girl, you have absolutely no sense of perfection. The Great Destroyer demands perfection. And I serve the Prophet, who represents the Great Destroyer. Hello? Mr. M well. Well, hello there, citizen. What can I do for you? Who are you? Oh, I'm but a humble trader from a long line of traders. My grandfather was already a professional merchant at the time of the Empire. He was a real hero, helping those who needed passage in or out of Genoa during, during the war. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> That's who he is. He did many favors, and he also earned money to money his keep. Earned money his keep by working hard. What? Is it just my brain that doesn't want to process that, or... Was that sentence odd? This was born the Football Dynasty. Quite a beautiful story, ain't it? What can I do for you? The Great Disaster. The Great Disaster happened 60 years ago, on the 50th anniversary of the Empire with the Demons. No one knows exactly what happened, except that a huge explosion wiped out the southern part of the continent. Genoa was not entirely spared, and the turmoil that followed ultimately led to the Empire's demise. Thankfully, the traders were there to restore order. What can I do for you? The traders. After the great disaster, my, my father and his merchant friends came to the Empire's rescue. They formed a council that would take actions. That would take actions necessary to to govern a survival. Someone needed to act quickly. What with all the chaos, the militia was sent to created to replace the army. The former is the former imperial tax system was abolished to make way for a terror system. It gave people their freedom back. Since then everyone is free to do trade and become wealthier. Oh, naturally traders' sons all became traders themselves, but at, le at least everyone has a chance. What can I do for you? Smug. So we went into like a caste system almost. The explosion of the Great Disaster left behind a gaping hole, filled with this strange substance. As no one rightly knew what the stuff was, people called it smug. Our scientists quickly found that the smug could be used as an en energy source. The traders declared a monopoly on the buying and selling of smug and built a smug line to transport it to Genoa. Since then, everything here has been fueled with smug, and every time people use some, more money lines the council's pockets. Yeah, so they're just literally just using it too. Yeah, okay. And some technology grant. Well, what can I do for you? Help us out? If you ever need a favor, do come and see me. I'd be thrilled to do what I can and be. Any m and by any means at my disposal. I don't do pro bono. Ha ha ha. Pro bono. As if that there were even a thing. Ha ha ha. What can I do for you? Nothing. I am. 
not really very interested in him. The great disaster. My village swallowed up by the smog. Smog. And look what has become of Genova Clank. Is that really our future? He did not demons. They must be hiding somewhere. I cannot believe they all vanished into thin air. That's not the number one problem here. My village, my parents, everyone's gone. Clank, we have to stop this great disaster from happening. I mean, you're both arguing the same thing. I understand your anguish, Miss Clay. But if it is indeed possible to change the course of events, we should start by saving my people. That can't be changed, Ibos. The demon's def defeat is a part of history. I learned about it in school. It's in the past. What'll happen here? That hasn't happened yet. Nope. Perhaps in your past, Miss Calais. But to me, your present is my future. What might happen to the Empire is none of my concern. I want my people to live. To not be wiped out by our enemy. Yeah. But if the Empire doesn't defeat the demons, that can change everything. I mean... Maybe I wouldn't even exist. It's just too risky. And what of the people who lived here and now? Maybe they too will disappear if you alter the past. Yeah, she's being very narrow-minded. Does that not bother you at all? But who knows exactly what can and cannot be changed. It may well be that all of this already exists. Perhaps we have already come here. We have done all this, so no matter what we do, nothing can be changed. You know what, Ibos? I don't really know. But I'm at least going to try. That's all we can do. I mean, he's trying too. Uh, what about you, Clank? Do you think we can change time? Yeah, let's do it. You see, Ibos, Clank is an op optimist just like me. Yeah, but I want to change his past too, because I think it's connected to what's happening now. If we can, what do you think we should change? Both. Thank you, Super Mario. I knew that I could count on you. Are you sure, Clank? That's pretty risky. You could throw off the world's balance. I think they're connected. Just saying. That we could... We would still need to be able to turn the back time. I do not know what is possible or even reasonable to hope for. Before anything else, we need, we must find a megalith. On that much, I completely agree, Ibos. Let's go to the library and dig up some information. I have a good feeling we'll find out where there's a megalith. You heard that, Clank? Let's go get going. Yeah, I, I feel like everything is connected, because there was a plan in the past, and I think it's because of that plan that this is happening. <laughs> you really think the great destroy caused the great disaster? What about this business with the five keys he needs to collect before destroying the world? I... what? <laughs> is this supposed to be a good person? Our family has been poor for generations, but at least before we could see the sun. Now everything uses smog. The smoke blocks out the sun and everyone's getting sick. The traders are the only ones getting richer. What do we get out of it, huh? I worry about my daughter's future. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound good. Mommy worries a lot. Are all adults like that? Hello. When I was little, I'd always go hiding the sewers with my friends. It was full of rats and other disgusting stuff, but man, did we have a good time. But ever since that, the great disaster, I just don't enjoy life anymore. He's like look, standing there and looking at it, just like, huh. I used to enjoy life, but what is the point anymore? Hello. 
The disciples train at the Prophet's Pyramid west of here. It's got a big eye engraved on it. You can't miss it. Right, but why do I want to go there? Back in the Imperial days, this place was an orphanage for children whose parents died and nowadays it's a home for people bankrupt traders who left. See? It's all bad. Uh, I would have preferred taking care of the children. Adults only get what they deserve. It's their own fault they're in debt, right? No. No, if the, the system is rigged against people, it's really not their fault. And just because it's their fault doesn't mean they don't deserve help. Makes you wonder what, why they do it. Didn't anybody tell them what might happen? Hello, my dude. Why? Why, oh why did I accept that contract? Every day I ask myself the same question over and over. My wife's never forgiven me. To think that I was taught to just say no. To traders who want to sell me things I don't need. Really? I just want to die alone. I really tried, you know. After working so hard, I'd almost managed to become a trader. Now I've lost everything. It's my fault. All my fault. That seems lovely. Hello. Can I talk to you guys? Profit first of all. Anything to report? Any individuals who who insult the great destroyers will be re be considered a blasphemer. For anyone insulting the prophet, who was sent who was sent here as our savior, of course, simply doubting the great destroyer's existence is blasphemous in, in and of itself. Yeah, 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 this this reality does not seem great. Just because the world will soon be anni annihilated by the great destroyer destroyer doesn't mean you shouldn't deny his existence. Only those who help the prophet will be saved. Uh, if you come across a blasphemer, please alert us immediately. The great destroyer will reward you with his truth. Oh, my sweet. One day I'll take you far from the smog fumes, all the way to Scythe Silith Silith Forest where time stands still our love will be eternal there oh that's so romantic but I'd rather go hiking on the frozen continent with only our love to warm our frost frostbitten bodies I am your faithful knight your wish is my command oh my love Oh my darling, oh my god. I can't even. Like, it, jokingly. How about I invite my mother to come along? No. How about we forget the whole thing? Yeah, even I know that's... Oh, this is the inn. My daughter likes to play with her friends out in the courtyard at the inn. I can't imagine what they do out there all day. Oh, but perhaps you would like to rest for a while? Nah, not right now. Ooh, there's an upstairs? Wah! Wah! Is someone trapped behind the- All these books everywhere. I do hope the prophet will en enact the law banning them. Yeah, this is this is just an apocalypse. Why is the thing screaming? Is it like the- Just like the Harry Potter thing? I'll make millions of this contract. Assuming they don't read the fine print. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Hello. Step aside, old man. Can't you see I'm walking here? Mommy, that man looks poor. Don't touch me, mister. You're gonna give me diseases. Wow. Being a trader's wife isn't exactly a cakewalk. True enough, we want for nothing, but my husband's away very often. 
and compensates by bringing our girl's presence. I think they'd be better off if he were around more. I can't dis discipline them. I think they're just too cute to punish them. You, you really should, though. If they do something wrong. <laughs> like, you just can't sleep with all the noise from those girls next door. Why doesn't their mother tell them to ease up a bit? Apparently, they're too cute. Hello. It's getting harder to find non-smug and rich fruits and veggies. Sure, they look pretty, but they've got bright—they've got brighter colors, but they're completely tasteless. How am I supposed to use that to stuff to cook us proper plates of food? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is somewhat part too real. The food here is okay, but it's small as compared to Wook. McDonald's, best restaurant on the whole continent. Wow. That's also just wild. <laughs> they, ma they made the best... Oh wait, this is the same. Yeah. The best restaurant is... McDonald's based. Okay, can I go up over here? Why not? Is there a person in there? Oh no, it's a cabbage. <laughs> I thought it was a person with green hair. Hello. Sure, the grid is also flat in the whole. Oh, you're right. Okay. This has to be the library, right? Yeah. Cutie. Look, Clank, the Imperial Library. I'm not sure what it's like now, but in my day it was known for its many documents. I bet if we go in there, we'll find out pl plenty about this time period. They're also likely to have something on the location of the Megalips. We'll have to find another one to get back home, seeing as the one that got us here was destroyed. But Megalips are quite rare, and even if we were to find one, how would we activate it? Not to mention, it could end up taking us to an entirely new era. Aye, boss. Stop being so defeatist. What else can we do besides try? Nothing we can do will change anything. My people, my son, all of them dead. Ah, Clank, I think Ibos is going to need some time to adjust. Let's try finding information as fast as we can. Poor dude. Library access is re restricted to researchers. They're the only ones with keys. Yeah, I know. Who'd want to read books anyway? Utterly pointless. Really not pointless. Are you okay? You're just asleep in a flower bed? Huh? What? By lying stretched out on the ground, I can communicate with the Great Destroyer. The Great Destroyer is omnipotent. omnipotent. He will destroy the world in order to rebuild it. You think you can hear me? <laughs> I mean, we know he... When I gaze at this fountain, I think of the future. The prophet has revealed it to us. He alone holds the truth. Water will wash over the world and all will be flooded. The great destroyer is already at work, but the prophet will save us. Hello. When I was young, I often came and played in the streets of Genoa. But after the great disaster, the city became a terrible place, with the traders and the prophets seizing power. And the smog makes me cough, and many residents have fallen sick as well. Ever since, I've cut down on trips to Genova as much as possible. Understandable. What is this? I'd rather eat here than in the tavern. This way I save my money save up my money to buy myself a meal at McDonald's every once in a while. Makes me drool just thinking about it. Hello. If the prophet prophet has his rules, so does the militia. First, rule of the mi militia? 
do not talk about the militia. Second rule of the militia, do not talk about the militia. Not even also at rule 34. Hello. After a long day, members of the militia come to rest here in the old Imperial Guard Room. It's funny to think that a hundred years ago during the war, Solish actually lived here. Them Sorry, they must have had very skilled lieutenants to have won the war. You okay, dude? No, don't take... It's in the bureau. What's in the bureau? <laughs> oh, I just stole someone's money. Sorry. I just kind of hoped... I could maybe find some... I mean, I guess I would, shouldn't put in the militia for that, but... You never know. You can find... strange things. My plan to work in the militia for a few years. After that, I will save up and become a wealthy trader. It's in our constitution, even. Yeah, this is definitely a reference. Very few have done it so far. Except for the sons of traders, of course, but that's alright. Yeah, alright. Anyway, I'll be one of the first to make it big. I just need to pull myself up from my uh, off my bootstraps. I joined the militia to defend Genova, not to apprehend blasphemers. Plus, with every passing day, the definition of blasphemy gets broader. At this rate, I can't say how far we'll go. Maybe we'll end up throwing everybody in this mug. You throw them into it when you're a blasphemer? The militia is being increasingly replaced with patrols of the Prophet's disciplers. Disciplers? Oh, but I'm not a blasphemer, just... Maybe it's better to keep things separate? You know, church and state separate? Typically a good thing. Do you believe in the Great Destroyer? If you believe what the Prophet's disciple disciples say, he's going to destroy the world. But if you ask for a precise date, they'll they get all they get they all get pretty vague. Maybe it won't happen for a few centuries. <laughs> Saku. Let's double check everything first. Mimi, do you have did you get the key? Yes. Yep. Saku, I got it. Brilliant. How about you, Riven? Do you have the map? Yeah, boss. I've got the map. Awesome. I hereby declare Operation no, to no Toys But Plenty of Books has begun. Saku, I think we should come up with a better name for Operation. I think so too. How about we call it Operation Super Mimi? Ah, uh, no. Mimi, it's not just your operation, it's all of ours. And so I might suggest Operation Sako and her friends. No way! Why should there only be your name in our operation? Uh, maybe because it was my idea in the first place? Well, I'm the one who stole my dad's key. If I get caught, I won't get the cert for at least three days. Which means I'm the one taking the biggest risk here. Stop arguing, you two. I just want to read the books that are hidden in the library. So boring without any, without any toys. So... So why not call our operation... Upper books for ribbon? No! Boo hoo hoo. You guys are so mean to me. I'm gonna cry. Ribbon. Come on now, don't throw a fit. Hey, how about we go back to our HQ to choose the name? Good idea, Mimi. Alright, everyone return to HQ. Hey! Wait for me, you guys. Where is their HQ, though? don't look like you're from around here. Bit of advice. Try not to blasph uh, blaspheme? Blaspheme? 
near the disciples or certain members of the militia. Makes no difference to me, but some are a bit overzealous. How do you blaspheme? Oh, there's lots of different ways. And they just seem to get more uncompromising every day. Tell you what. Better yet, don't say a thing. <laughs> anyway, you don't really look like the chatty type. The old Imperial Jail was abandoned since there wasn't any need for it. Oh, there's still plenty of criminals out there, mainly blasphemers. But they were too expensive to feed and house. Don't get me wrong, we're not savages. We're not gonna execute them or anything. That would be way too expensive anyway. No, instead we send them into the smug. Nobody's ever come back, but at least we're giving them a shot. <laughs> yeah, that's... that's great. That's lovely. Can I enter here? Have you ever asked? Are there secrets? No. The HQ is where they went. Well, her home was here, right? Door is closed. Nope. Where is the HQ? Maybe it's in the the. That's the hat maker. Oh no, this was the mom and daughter. Hmm. Hello. Ha ha ha! Oh, how easy it is to cook with a smug burning stove. I can't do without it anymore. What? You've heard smug fumes are toxic? Everyone has to die of something. Plus, considering how much it cost me, I have to make good use of it now. Wow. It's like, eh, will I die from it? Maybe, but like, it costs a lot of money, so I'll keep using it. <laughs> Where is this HQ? Shouldn't be in here, because that's where... Yeah, that's just them. Can I ask you more things, or are you... Uh, nope. Um, maybe it's our house, since we apparently bought a house. And they weren't in there, and this one's still locked. And this was ours. Are there people in here? No, just empty. Just us. This is McDonald's. And there are no kids. Nope. Maybe they're in the... Oh, wait. I think I got it. Yeah, I can see them now. How do I get out there, though? Ah! That's the door. Where all the light is coming from. Makes sense. Hello. Watch out, girls! There's a creepy guy staring at us. Huh? Who are you? What are you doing in our HQ? I'm just passing through. I'm looking for, for key. I want to help you. Operation Super Mario? <laughs> yeah, not bad, but I think we can come up with something better. Uh, I, I want to help you. Oh, really? Hear that, Mimi? He wants to help us. But help us with what, exactly? 
good point. Help us with what? I was just about to ask that. So? You want to help us do what exactly? Steal books? Steal books? Seriously, are you nuts? You're working for the Prophet Secret Service or something? You really think we'll admit to something like that? Forget about it. You've got you're too green to try and nab us. Sam almost. No. Wait. Uh. I want to help you. No. I'm going too quickly. I want to help you. Yeah, toys. Toys? What for? You don't need no stinking toys. We're not little girls who play with dollies. We do much more interesting stuff than that, right, girls? Yeah, Saku. For sure. So, you see? Keep your toys besides her illegal here. Okay, try again then. I want to help you. I just need a key to say. You know what? I like people who are direct. Who know what they want. So, say you find this key of yours. Like, maybe in a safe or a chest or something? And maybe you use it to get into the library. And in the library you say you find, oh, I don't know, a book? In this real, this purely hypothetical scenario, would you bring it to us? Yes. You promise? Yes. Cross your heart and hope to die? Yes. I will get the kids books. Like you promise on your life? Yes. Well, I think we'll get along just fine. Keep your promise and you'll have nothing to worry about. There we go. Da -da -do 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 -do. It op gateway to oh, maybe new problems too. Gateway to knowledge, maybe new problems too. I thought that I might, I would, like read better when I actually slept because I haven't I haven't worked yet today. But no, no, I'm apparently just as bad at reading now as I was before. Good to know, sleep doesn't help. <laughs> Library, here we go. Do -do 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 key. And in we go. I love that they just like randomly have the the uh, Super Mario ones, the flowers. I really don't know what they're called. Yeah, we don't at all stand out in this place. <laughs> Not at all. The Dean. Welcome to Je the Genova Library. I suppose you're the new students. Yeah. I'm the Dean of the Genova Library. We researchers devote our, our lives to extremely important matters. For example, finding out why it itches when one is bite bitten by a mosquito. Oh, we're not concerned with finding a cure or some, some such nonsense. Knowing why it itches is clearly more interesting. By the by, I will discuss my own research when the time permits. I'm an expert in the study of the ancient Magi civilization, specifically the legends surrounding their usage, use of strange powers in late antiquity. But before I can tell you all about that, you'll need to complete your studies. I... it's just that... look, professor. We're in quite a hurry, and... Wow. He he just... Quiet. Your students and in the library must submit to your professor's authority. Oh god, I don't like this reality. Unless you do not wish to learn anything. In which case, get out. Please forgive student Ibas, Mr. Dean, sir. We'd be delighted to follow your lessons. In particular, the ones about the megaliths. Right, Ibos? Yes. Well then, if you are determined, let us begin. You must receive credit for six core dis disciplines, courses in various fields. I do so you need only speak to my research colleagues in the library. Each of them will submit a problem, allowing you to get credit for a particular subject. 
You can choose your own curriculum. You're under no obligation to do all of them, but I may have a little reward if you complete all eight. Did you get all that? Yes. Splendid. Have fun studying them. Come back when you're all done. And no sooner than that, I simply hate being disturbed. Of studying? Qui. He seems to know much about the Magi. He will certainly have much to tell us about the Megaliths. Maybe don't have this conversation in front of him. Just, just putting that out here. Are you the new pupil? I've dug up a strange relic with a mechanism I can't get a handle on. Do you have a few minutes to, s to spare? Sure. You're too kind. Here, a strange item was found in some ancient... <laughs> Hyrulean ruins. As in Link Hyrule? Princess in uh, the Legend of Zelda? There's no lock on it, save for this bizarre keyboard set with symbols. You know, you would do me great service by opening it. Number three, mysterious relic. Okay, this chest will open after the 16 buttons are pressed in the right order. The gold buttons must be triggered. The gold button must be triggered last. Which button must be pressed first to unlock the mechanism? I see, it's one of those. Okay, so you go one to that side, then you go two down, then one up, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Okay, yeah, just that one. No, but it is, right? No, but let me try again. I want to do it again. Is that not the thing that I need to do? Which button must be pressed first? No. I, I pressed the wrong thing. I was too eager. Yeah. Okay. The gold button must be triggered last. Do I need to go through all of them then? Wait. Is that one? Two. Two. One. One, two, three. One. Two. One, one, two, three, two, one, two. It does do the thing. But I don't get all of them. Is that the issue, maybe? Is there any way I can get to that one? One, two, three, four. Okay, no. One, two, three. So if I do that one, I get to that one. And that's one of the... Okay, I need pen and paper. Give me one moment. <laughs> oh, hi! Thank you! Welcome, welcome. I'm currently doing the puzzle, which I, I think I know how I need to do it, but I, I'm also... Like, it doesn't let me do all of them, so I just need to check which ones I've walked over. And then we have four and four. Okay. So, if I start with that one. If I start with this one, we go one, two, and then three up to that one. Two, two, one... Three. Then we have... Hi. It's been a while. How are you, by the way? Uh... How... 
how are every, how is everything? I I've literally taken out a pen and paper because I think I need to just check which ones I haven't done. Uh, is there? Let me get to this one. No wait. I am having a good day. I went to a cat cafe earlier. No, the cats weren't super cuddly, but I just I, I love cats. <laughs> and it was really fun to pet to pet some of them and to watch them. And I'm like, yes, am I allergic? Yes, but I don't care. I then also went to buy some books for myself. I had a like a gift card, so I could do it for free. Uh, yeah. There. And then one, two, three. Oh, you are? I'm doing good. I, I mean, I, I'm always busy currently. Um, but still very, very, I'm, I'm still doing good. I'm like, I, I'm busy, but I'm also enjoying life. So, you know, I think, I think that's a, a, a win. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, that one and then that one. Okay, so we need to start with this one. With this, sorry, literally, <laughs> I'm literally just. I don't know if you can actually see that. Give me a moment. Like I've literally just done the puzzle on this one to make sure I can hit all the different. <laughs> I mean, listen. I am allergic to cats. I used to have cats, but. I, I, uh, yeah, I am gonna get a dog at some point. My, my goal is to hopefully make enough money to one day have a dog. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I am allergic, unfortunately. <laughs> this is, I am having fun. Sorry, it, the, the lag is quite long today. You're a student? Uh, you'll see, optics are as simple as ABC. I'll award you credit if you manage to solve a very basic problem. I mean, a three-year-old could do this. Yes. You'll see, it's terribly easy. The optical options... Optical option. A beam leaves source A and must end up in a main conduct B. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, me and my friend are planning to like live together, and she wants a cat, and I want a dog. So we have we just said that okay, we will have a cat and a dog. The cat's not allowed in my room, but they will be best friends. <laughs> we will have a cat and a dog, and they will be best friends. And I, I, I that is my goal. That is all I want in life. <laughs> I okay. So this game is like it's a reference to like all the games basically. It's called Evoland, and it like references so many games. So probably if it reminds you of that one, it's probably a deliberate, um, de deliberate, like reference to it. Um, because this is the first time we have we've had these kind of puzzles, so I, I feel like it should be to Professor Layton. Uh, it must end up in B. Okay. Move the mirrors to direct the beam to point B where, while activating all six crystals. Oh, it needs to go through all of them, I see. Well, first of all, let's... How do I rotate this? Both is always good, yeah. I'm like, as many pets as I can get. But how do I... How do I turn them? Oh, I don't. I move them. I see. Never mind then. This one should be here. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like if you if we walk around for a bit, you'll probably see it. But they have like the the big flowers from from uh, uh, the Mario games as well. <laughs> like they're in like the corners and stuff. And like the first, the first person you you get is called Clank, no Clink, as in Link with the C. <laughs> uh, okay, how do we? Okay, done there. 
Okay, let's start with this, maybe. Let's just see if this works. Uh, I don't know. That one should go there. And then we just need to turn them up. This might not work. Can I put them on the same one? I can't. Hmm. So if that doesn't work... I wonder if I can do... But if I do that, then it doesn't hit that one anyway. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> No, not in that direction. I thought I would be like rotating the mirrors, but that's not what I'm doing. Maybe I actually need to change the first one. Uh, that didn't do anything? Okay. Oh, it did do things. It just did things opposite. I solved it. <laughs> Almost. But now it goes down there. <laughs> no, I mean... Okay, it, it, your, your like connection might be spotty too, but genuinely my, my internet connection is not the best. Like Sometimes I struggle to watch a YouTube video. <laughs> But since I'm not gonna be staying um, for that long, it, what if we try that? No, we can't do that because then I can't do that. But then it goes down. Yeah, we need one more for this. <laughs> and that one is in the wrong direction. Mm. <sighs> okay, maybe if I work backwards. We need to hit this one. So they need to go straight from there. Somehow. I'd say we need one of those. Maybe from there. But then we have it from here. Because otherwise we need two from up there and then we need an extra one. Which seems unnecessary. Oh, actually, this doesn't work either. I just realized. Because this doesn't hit there. Uh, <laughs> this is what I did before. Hmm. Maybe... What if I do this? And then, again, we just need one in the different direction. <laughs> I, oh my god, my brain! <laughs> hmm. Well, I made a nice pattern. No, that doesn't solve that. Let's try this then. 
back. So that hits two. There. Put that one there. Put that one there. Nope, still one too, too few. We need one that actually can hit both of those, I think. Nope, it can't do that. It needs to be down. Mm, that one can go there. Maybe. But I can't put that there. <laughs> I I've been here before. Genuinely, I feel very stupid right now. We need it to... It needs to go up from down here, though. Or from one of them. Either from this one or that one. Doesn't help. No. Oh wait. Can I? No. I guess that I blocks that one. Can I try this then. Oh my god, my brain. If I take that one away, it goes to that one, but it doesn't. I can't turn it on that one. I can't have it hit those in that way. It needs to come from... Wait, what if we do a... That's not the right direction. Put right up here. And we do that one there. We don't have enough. We can get it this one. I can hit those twice, but that doesn't help. Hmm. <laughs> Oh my god, I like puzzles, I'm just not very good at them. More or less just do that. And if I move that one, it doesn't do anything. Because if I do this... What would happen if no, that doesn't work? Uh, I somehow I don't think this is gonna help at all. Uh, 
No. Oh my god, the lost one is killing me. <laughs> Wait, how do I do this? There's always one that I'm missing. Yeah, that's still missing one. <laughs> oh my god. If, I feel like it's a really simple solution that I'm just not getting. Also, you said you were on the highway, so what what are you doing? I think I might actually search for this because I it's it's not working for my with my head right now. <laughs> mm. What do I need to do? Nope. Uh. Okay, yeah, I'm searching for it. I mean, I've been really close. If that one works. Yeah. Okay. There. I did try something like this before. Oh, wrong way. Uh, nope. There. Oh my god. <laughs> I need to do more puzzles. Oh, you figured it out? Well, you got the credits for the optics class. I. Oh, Leia, look! Wait. If you. Yeah, here's one of the, the, the little things. The flowers. Hello, I'm standing very close to you. Hello, my friend, sir. It's with a pleasure that I explained your, your classic painting. You want the learning? Yes, please. Thank you, my friend, sir. Painting a classica. To complete the painting, move the colors so that no color appears twice on the same line or column. The colors marked with a dot cannot be moved. Oh, so it's basically color Yahtzee. No. Zodoku. So blue can't be there. So here maybe? We have a blue there now. So yellow, K, red should be fine. We need to move greens though. And we can do a red here. Ooh, wait, what happened? Did I solve it <laughs> already? <laughs> okay, so the last one I didn't do. I wasn't very good at this one. Apparently, my brain knew how to do that one. You are a deserving the credit of painting a classica. I feel kind of bad saying any <laughs> like saying that. Hello there. I'm the new cryptographer for the Council of Traders. They requested that I devise a new encryption system that to secure trade. 
finally developed a system that's uncrackable. Would you like to put it to the test? Yes. Terrific. If you manage to bypass my system, I will award you credit for c c c okay. Cipher. Out of the four symbols, which one completes the series of symbols? Ah, I see. Okay. Do I see? Uh, so circle, and then it becomes a circle in the middle. I have no real reason, I think it's that one. No. <laughs> uh, let me try again. I should maybe actually think of it this time. Okay, so. Circle. And then it's... Is this like it's taking a... Moving it. Okay. No. That I didn't actually mean to press anything. Well, we've we've officially ruled out two, even if that one was by accident. <laughs> So, because that's thinking of like what it should turn into. If it like keeps moving, it should be in the opposite direction. So it should. I think it's this one. Nope. Literally the last one I'm trying. Okay. I don't think I understand how this one works entirely. I think it has something to do with like negative space and. Like the way it overlaps becoming negative space, but I don't know. I don't have one. <laughs> I have to start again from square one. Beat me. Oh yes, you have your credit. That I did not deserve that one. Pure luck. The whole library holds so many books, like literal last one. It all must be sorted meticulously. I'm in charge of the archives, but because such a collection can't be perfectionally sorted, I bear the title of an archivist. It's not a joke dating back to the Imperial ad era. Sure. It's an uh, an 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 a what's it called? Uh, like a uh, an anarchist archivist. That's how what I'm trying to say. At any rate, I have a a hygiene related conundrum that has me had me my wits end. I haven't slept for three nights. Would you like to give it a try? Yes. All right, let's do it. The obsessive sort. One of the books in the library isn't in its place. Can you spot which one? Oh, I can actually go to all of them. Does it have to do with like... Because I was going to say, this one is way thicker than all of them. However, this... Four. They all have four stripes and one big one. Four stripes and a big one. Four stripes and a big one. Maybe all of them have four stripes and a big one. Oh, I see. Uh, one stripe at the top. This one. No? Yeah. Oh, I just saw that incorrectly. 
that it does have two stripes. So two, 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 two. Three, 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 three. Ah, this one has two. There we go. I, I was doing the right thing, I was just... I think the arrow was in front of it. Indeed. The label on this book is framed by two horizontal stripes to top and bottom. It should be on the second shelf. I figured it out. I think I hadn't noticed it. Thanks for your help. You've earned one credit in archival studies. Oh, it should be bottom of anyways. I got a book! You got 50 ghost stories, a book not everyone should read. Yeah, I shouldn't read that. I'm I'm very bad at No, not very bad at. I'm I'm a scaredy cat is what I'm trying to say. Which is why I tend uh reading Hi. Greetings, young man. Reach a researcher attached to the Michili M militia at your service. Oh my god. Speaking of service, how about you do me one? Sure. Perfect. The Council of the Traders has tasked me with implementing a new patrol system for the militia. I've made sure to follow all their instructions, but I'm concerned there's a somewhere. Wait, let me show you. <coughs> Number 5. Patrol. After leaving guard room X, each patrol must reach one of seven watchtowers. The patrol go down... The patrol may go down any path, but must stop at the sixth tower it encounters. Also, it can never use the same path twice. If this is always the procedure, one of the towers will never have a, a garrison. Which one? Oh, wait. No, let me follow the things. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if we... I'm getting the, the paper again. X. F. E. D. C. D. A and then we go we can go up at A and go to uh, G and go down to F and D. Okay, so for one we stop here. One Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. But then this also. Wait, one. Uh, uh, one, two, three, so wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. So Three. We can also do. No, we can't because we can't go twice over the same one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One goes there. One, two. Okay, so 
that one is done. You can however do one, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we get to B. Sorry. I can't even show it on this on the screen, so I'm just doing it on paper. If I if I could angle the camera to the paper as I'm doing this, maybe as well. But um yeah, sorry, this is just taking time. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Yep. Okay, so then we've done all of those. Let's do in the other direction then. One, two. That's not six, that's four. Uh, one, two. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that one would be five. One, two. So this is six. So one, uh, one, two, three. Four. One, uh, one, two, two, three, four, five, six. We would also end there. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. Two, three, four, five. That one doesn't work. At all. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. Because then we go back to where we were. Okay, so that doesn't work at all. One, <coughs> two, it's E. All the other ones I've had stop at. No, wait, I haven't had anyone stop at G. Give me a moment. One, two, three, we do that to seven. One. Two, three, four, five, six. So C is also seven. Oh my god, I wish I could just show you guys what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so then we've done that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. This G actually does work. Eight. Yeah, it has to be. Like. Oh, that's not on the thing. There we go. It's an absolute mess, but like. <laughs> look. <laughs> I did the work, kind of. Um, but yeah, it takes time. Ah, uh, yes, of course. I mean, you're deaf now, so you'll. If so, if you ever have a problem, come see me. Well, off to start. I'm off to start drafting my report to the council. You fully deserve this credit for military operations. Also, I desperately need to go to the toilet, so I'm gonna take a ten-minute break, and then I'll be. <coughs> I'll be back e at ten past to continue with all of these lovely puzzles. I'm actually having a fun, <laughs> very fun with it, even if it takes time, but it's like, even if it's hard, my, making my brain work, and it's 
So yeah, I can cut my hair so I have like no hair on the sides and it's so nice. Um, but yeah, I it's it's very fun. Anyway, yes. I'll be back. See ya. See you soon.
no, I'm back. Okay. I'm actually gonna put this on there right now. Okay. Let's go. I mean, technically we have enough now, but of course I can't get all of them, so I'm just gonna do all of them. Do I need to? No, but I want to. Sorry, no time to chat. Too much to do. Hmm, unless you're, you're prepared to lend me a hand. Sure. So, here's the thing. Every 500 years, two comets meet in the heavens. Books on the subject indicate that the next occurrence in is this very night. I wouldn't miss this for the world, but unfortunately, I cannot figure out what part of the sky they will be visible in. Here, look at this map. Number 4, Stellar Encom Encounter. When the two come, they will cross the map only diagonally. When the, when the two comets arrive, they will cross the map only diagonally. Only diagonally. Okay. They will not intersect any stars present either before or after they meet. Okay. Don't cross other stars. In which square will they meet? Okay. So they can't cross... So one of them has to be going like... No, in this one. One, two, three, four, five, six... Yeah. And this one has to be here? So there. That has to be where it is, right? No. No, but if I do that, then it crosses the... Wait. <laughs> then it does that one. And that one hits there. This one can cross. No, not there. There. That's the only way that one can cross. Otherwise it's in the way of other things. Could technique was here, I guess. That one does not work. Um, could it cross? That's diagonal. That one would cross over there. That would cross over here. That one will cross that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That one will cross there. Because one also does not work. This one might though. One, two. So that's a possibility. That one definitely isn't. That isn't. So where do those two meet? One. It's like, it's here. It's like in between these two. What? How do I... Okay, it's like in between these ones. They should meet here. Sure, let's try one of them and see. Yeah, I, I know, but it, it should be in there. It's the only ones. Mm, let's go with this one then. It, it should be like one of those four. Yes, I want to do it. If those are the only ones where they don't cross anyone. Should be... That doesn't work though. How am I supposed to? I don't get it. Stellar encounter. When the two comets arrive, they will cross the map only diagonally. 
they will not intersect any star present either before or after they meet. In which square will they meet? None of them. Because, like, if it's diagonally, this one hits there. Only this one that doesn't hit anyone on this one. Or? No, see. That one also hits. That one hits. Does this one hit anyone? <gasps> this one doesn't. Okay, so this one does not hit anything. Now we have to look at that one. Is it this one then? Doesn't hit anything there. It's something there. Wait, which one was I? Did I do before? This one. There we go. Okay, I found another one. <laughs> of course, how could I miss that? Thank you for your help. Now to award your credits in astronomy. Seven. One more, one more, one more. I'm a high achieving student, I swear. Even as a fake student. <laughs> oh, hey man. Are you by any chance the stand-in engineer this sent to help me out? Sure. Sure took your time, didn't you? Here's what's up. We gotta replace the, the town's old piping network. I'm trying like crazy to come up with the best outline for connecting all the junctions, but that but it's a real brain teaser. Also, you uh, you immediately became like a bro person to me. <laughs> like, hey man, go on, take this map and get working. Piping. You must connect points A and B with a network of pipes. Okay. The junctions in green cannot be moved, but must all be connected to the final network. In green? So that's just A and B, right? Move the pipes to create a single network that goes through every area of the map. Okay. Oh, I moved them. Are these the ones that I can't move? Yeah, you can't move those. Okay. There. I could just do a straight one there, couldn't I? Oh, but I need a straight one here, don't I? Actually, do I? That did not help. Yeah, that one doesn't need to be connected. That one does need to be connected. Okay. And those do not. So that one needs to be connected like that, though. So I can probably do this and this. And then we need a... one like that. We need a straight one here. Wait, what? That one doesn't need one. But this one does. That doesn't help anything though. <laughs> That actually doesn't solve anything. I think... That should be okay, though. I need to find a way to connect this one with that one. So there. That one needs to be connected to... I'm guessing there. Probably put that there. That one doesn't need anything. 
Ah, ¿cuántas son las diferentes? ¿Cuántas? Yo me limitaba a Fonte Connected somehow. At the moment, these two systems aren't connected at all. That is an issue. Should I do... No, but I need that one to be connected there. E. Maybe there's something that can be long instead. Uh, oh, right, yeah, that's why I did that. Nope, that needs to be like that. Alright. I hate this lesson. I need to look at the way I've done it for now. Then it's not connected there. Uh. I was thinking if I did this, if I did these, then that one won't connect there. So never mind. I was gonna say I got it, but I didn't. Then that doesn't connect anything, and this doesn't connect anything. Hmm. And that one is a closed system, which is not what we want. can make this a closed system too. Uh, but that's not helpful. How do I solve this? But those more or less need to be connected together. That one doesn't need anything, that needs there. That needs to have that for that. What? No, this doesn't work. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look. At a path. Just now that I've seen that part. Just a 
great one. It was just the beginning part that was messing me up. Because I couldn't figure out how to connect this with this. And I was like, I don't have to. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. I looked at the very first part and then I could figure it out. <laughs> Perfect, I was afraid I'd have to take all day. Thanks, man. Just gotta hand the pl plant over to my assistant when he gets back. Whatever that is, you definitely earned your several engineering credits. I have done the eight. What is the price? So, you are your studies progressing well? Oh. <gasps> Congratulations! You finished all your courses! Imagine if... If uni was the, actually like this. This calls for an extra reward! <gasps> I got a star! Heck yeah. Alright, now on to my teaching. What would you like to know? The Magi. The Magi are, are people, or rather a civilization, uh, that peaked more than 2,500 years ago, while the world was largely underwater. According to, le to legend, they propose magical powers beyond anything else in history. Some even say they can, could manipulate time itself, but these are most likely the exaggerated explanations of contempt. Co contempt Perennious people to account for strange phenomena. But this word is the bane, bane of my existence. Phenomena. I can't read it. I can't say it. If I don't do it slowly. After the fact. Nevertheless, after dominating the era in which they lived, they completely vanished 2000 years ago. All they left behind were a few ruins and many unsolved mysteries. What would you like to know? The Megaliths. What are commonly called Megaliths are in fact the most famous relics of the Magi civilization. While somewhat rare, they are evenly spread throughout various continents. It is not precisely known what purpose they served. Deciphered writings prefer, refer to a road or path but, well, but where does it lead? Incidentally, it was while searching for a megalith that my former professor, also a great expert on the magi, met her end. Quite a sad story, really. What would you like to know? The disappearance of the magi. Surely it's the greatest riddle ever put forth. <clears throat> Why would a civilization as powerful as the magi vanish from the face of the earth 2000 years ago? And without a trace or, or practically none. Even after years of research, I must admit I haven't the foggiest idea. What would you like to know? Your profession. Professor. My old professor was, was a leading magi expert. Her entire life was about it. She discovered a megalith that she believed she could activate with the Stone of Time. Sadly, she was captured by the pirates that lived, lived on the island at that time. No one ever found a trace of it. 